There are several other really useful features within Story Maps that uh, you should explore. So I've been focusing on the sidecar, but there is the uh, slideshow option. So if I just go into preview mode here, so this is what it looks like when the map has been published. If I go down, you'll see this is the sidecar that we've been working on. And I'm just scrolling down and the map changes and the images change. And there's my video and my uh, express map. But now this is the same thing over again, but it's as a slideshow. So I have to physically click on the uh, little arrow on the side here. And you can see this is the same content, but I've done it as a uh, as a slideshow. So it's an option. Um, I find students prefer the sidecar as compared to the, um, what's that called? Uh, slideshow. So there's a couple of other features here. I'm going to show you what it looks like and then uh, we'll go through and practice making one. So for instance, you'll see I've got a button here. So if I wanted to Get the relative location of where the oil sands are relative to Edmonton. I can simply click on Edmonton and I can see there's Edmonton. There are the oil uh, sands to the north of it. Down here. I've got another button, except this time what it's going to do is it's going to take me to the website that talks about uh, pipelines and a fancy map of all the pipelines and so on. So in order to make these features, I just have to get out of preview mode here. Just gonna go into the, the um, slideshow. Here we are. Oh. Sorry, I can't do those uh, in the slideshow. I have to do it in the um, in the sidecar. Okay, so uh, let's see. Let's say I want to put a button in here. So I'm just going to click a uh, little plus and then click on button. Type in whatever my text is going to be. So Edmonton. And then you'll see down here. Oops, I'm just going to click away for a sec. The little uh, edit button. So when I click on the edit button, it's going to... Um, give me the option of putting in a link to a website. Uh, actually, I've done this backwards, uh, but that's all right. So let's say I just wanted to go to um, the button uh, takes me to an external website. So if I wanted to, to go to this one here, just simply click on this link in. On the other hand, let's say I wanted it to highlight a part of the map. That's a um, that's a map action. So uh, let me just uh, let me get rid of this. So down here you'll see map action. All right, it looks like a button. All right, uh, but you'll see it's slightly different in design. So now I'll type Edmonton, and I'll click on the little edit button. Except this time what it does is it takes me into the map features. And so I want to find Edmonton. Oops. And I'm going to turn off this layer. So now I can see the city of Edmonton and some of the oil wells to the north. Now you'll notice like if I click on it, nothing's really going to happen here. Um, oh, actually it is showing me what it looks like. Perfect. So the action works. And if I click on this one, yeah, I can open up uh, this in a new tab just to make sure that it works fine. One other thing I would suggest is that you go into the design part here. And now that we've added our image, you might want to decide on different styles for that opening um, slide, the title slide. So all sorts of different ways that you can design it. You can also choose different color. So for instance, oh, 
there's the black compared to the other ones. There's some other neat things. You can upload your school logo and so on. So um, it's a fun way to adjust the way that your map looks. So try adding a, a button and a map action to your existing story map. 